Yo, what's up, Crooks Moto Crew? So today we're in the garage, and today we are tackling my first part of my engine Sportster chopper build. Got the chopper here, we got Josh's here, we got some parts that we've been working on, some parts powder coat and things. This is my uh, 1200 Sportster 2002. When I bought this, it had about 10,000 miles on it, roughly. It also had a broken motor mount. Uh, you can't really see it, but it's down here. But anyways, there was a broken motor mount on it, and uh, didn't really know how hard that is to fix. What I did instead was I actually got a new bottom end from a 2001 uh, and fingers crossed that the fitment works. Uh, we're gonna assume that it does, but who knows until we get into it. But so the goal for this today is to just start disassembling the engine, top end off, start taking the covers off, uh, disconnect these oil lines. Yeah, just start disassembling it. I have a full engine gasket rebuild kit. Yeah, anyways guys, Let's get into it. Let's get the vlog started. So I got to drill out the points cover. When you have to be safety first, grab a pair of goggles. All right, got the tops off. Now let's see how much uh, damage I did. <laughs> okay, let's find something that we can poke in there. All right, we got pokey things. Yay! Damn, I definitely <laughs> drilled into that. Definitely drilled into those holes a little too much, but oh well. <laughs> Got it off, baby. Sweet. Now, if uh, I can just get one that, you know, like goes in where the screws go in, that'd be cool. Here, what up guys? All right, so just a quick check-in. Got the points cover off. Uh, we got kind of the top started to be disassembled. Uh, gotta get this little rocker section off. Gotta take the remaining bolts here. These are definitely up. These are not lowered down, the push rods. So I'm gonna take the, the spark plugs out and then we're gonna try to turn the engine and get these unloaded. Yeah, that's gonna help us a lot. So I actually don't know. I don't know if I'm strong enough to turn this thing. So I wonder if there's a little hack. All right, quick little update. We got this off. Well, I gotta figure out this rocker situation, how to turn the motor. So I'm gonna try to find a easier way to, to do that so I can get the rocker in the right location so then I can get these off. Yeah, I think this is the bolt that they were talking about. Turn this to turn the engine. Yeah, we're gonna give that a go. I've never worked on a Sportster engine. I've never really worked on an engine, so. Whoa, look at that. Guy almost fell on me. Just wanted to come say hi.
You're on camera. Is that cool? Do you want to take this off? Okay, cool. Yeah, just um, I'll be out of your way, dude. All right, so that indeed, that, that, that guy. I don't know the names of all these things, guys, so don't at me in the comments about how I don't know the names of all these things. I'm learning. This is the first time I've ever taken an engine apart and learning the names and learning how to work on this. So uh, forgive your boy. All I know is that I'm working on it. Okay, so we were able to turn it and my assumption is that this is as far as it goes down because if I turn this guy, that goes up, go this way, that guy goes up. So we're gonna take it off and see what's good. All right guys, quick little check in. All right, so we got push rod tubes out and push rods and the rocker tops off. So now my dilemma is that I don't have short enough Allens for these. I just don't have a short enough Allen. It'll go in there to where it can get access to it. So I'm thinking about going to the store, see if I can find uh, something that is short enough or maybe even ones that I can just grind down. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if there's anything I have in here to get by. But yeah, so far the engine teardown's going pretty well. I'm having fun. So yeah, let's go try to find uh, the tool. We'll be right back. Went to uh, three different places, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, and DMB Supply. And well, we found these guys. They're not super short, but I think that they are going to work. I can kind of get in there. It's not perfect, but I think it'll be enough at least to get this out. Let's get started. It loosened. You guys heard it. Oh yeah, that's off. Definitely gonna need to get a new bolt kit. I didn't order one yet, but that's the next thing because these are just too gross. All right, we got all four of them loose now, so that's good. Got them all loose. As you can see, they are rusted and are definitely gonna need to be replaced. Uh, got the top end off. Pulled the cylinders off. There was uh, these these little pain in the butt guys right here. Dude, I had to put some PB blaster and just wait for that stuff to soak and, and then I was able to pull them out. Yeah, here we go. There's the top end, the cylinders. Got these plugged up. I'm gonna get this guy opened up and then we'll probably turn her around and start pulling those, those gears out. And um, yeah, things are going well so far, so. Some of these bolts are old and you can tell they need a little bit of PB blaster or something to you know break them loose a little bit, but overall they're not, they haven't been too hard, so that's good. But probably still gonna buy a, a brand new bolt kit, you know, just a show quality bolt kit, something that looks good, chrome. But um, yeah, that was all for today. We'll, uh, we'll get back to it tomorrow. So just a check in on the Sportster engine rebuild, the chopper build. In terms of my case, I've got the case officially transferred. So we decided to use the other half of the 2001 engine. Instead of doing the full case, I just swapped half. Hopefully it doesn't, uh, you know, cause any issues. The cases look identical. From what I've gathered, there's no big engine changes or anything like that between those two years. So we used um, some silicone here. This is a 1184 three bond silicone to reseal the case. Um, as you notice, you only really need the, 
I only needed the half of the case that had working engine mounts since my others were broke off. But overall, yeah, it's sealed up. Fingers crossed that I did it right and I did it well. I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. But yeah, basically now it's just a matter of starting to put this engine together and get things uh, reassembled. We're gonna be putting new spark plugs in. We're gonna be putting the Barnett uh, clutch kit, not an actual full Barnett clutch. And then we're gonna be putting a show bike Allen kit by Colony. And we're gonna be putting on some new piston rings. Uh, we're doing the ring leader piston rings. So yeah, uh, just replacing just some stuff. Uh, you know, in the event that I need to do some more engine work later down the road, I have a pretty good understanding of how to open up and tear this thing apart now, so. All right, guys, so we got transmission in the case, shift arm back on, the stator back on, bolted down. Got that good. This is good. I had to figure out how to get this guy on, which basically I had to make sure transmission was in neutral and line that up with the neutral got here. Put our springs back on, spring on, this is on. We had to basically get this circle up here and then put a drill bit in and put it against the little claw here and like push it down towards it and then uh, tighten these guys to like set this in the right location. Not sure if it's right, watch the video or two and then in the manual it kind of says that. So you put the drill bit in, get it under there. But again, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we're moving on now. I think at this point now it's uh, clutch assembly back on. It's looking good, guys. Got the uh, timing gears back in. Put those all in order. Uh, pop the tappets in. Got to make sure that those are in like correctly. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we got the uh, clutch and main engine uh, sprocket back on. Uh, got to torque those nuts down. Got to find a different torque wrench that's strong enough to do that. And yeah, this is where we're stopping for the night. And tomorrow we will get back to getting the tappet screws, the rotation screws in. Maybe even we'll probably get the oil pump maybe rebuilt. Yeah, and maybe try to close up this side and get this side finished with the gasket to the next day. So a lot has changed. We've made some pretty good progress. Let me run you through it. Uh, our timing gear's in. We have our cam cover, new gasket. Uh, we got a new little timing cover. Got our ignition in. Uh, the pistons and new rings uh, added on. We got the primary cover on, new gasket, new bolts. Yeah, we got the oil pump in. We got still this line disconnected and we don't have a, a line here. And that's really just because we're still gonna figure out how to run our oil lines, probably gonna do braided lines. Yeah, other than that, just starting to put piece by piece, the table's getting smaller as you can see. We just have a bunch of stuff here. So yeah, now it's just a matter of getting the rest of the outer primary stuff set up, the clutch, stuff like that. Uh, kind of basically the whole top end rebuilt. From there, uh, it'll probably be good to go. Um, I'm gonna order some oil lines here soon, and so that way we can make the oil lines and get those ready. I mean, we're getting pretty close here to the final build of this engine. Super stoked. Didn't wanna film all the specific stuff. A lot of it is very tedious, and uh, there's build videos out there. Uh, we're not necessarily your build video guys. We've made some progress. Got the covers on. Got the uh, base of the cylinders going. Got pistons in there. Cleaning off these guys, and then we'll be assembling top rockers. So, making good progress. Yo, what's up, Crooks Moto Crew? So, quick little update for you. We got the engine fully assembled. Got the whole cylinders back on, everything's torqued down, lock tighted, and now it's just a matter of going through and cleaning it all up. Got a bunch of new gaskets on there. Got, for the most part, a colony. Uh, show bike kit. There's definitely some bolts left over, some motor mount stuff. It's done! Woo! The engine is complete.